All right, guys, so here I am showing you how this twist looks if braided at the base. So I am just taking the hair, of course, and just braiding it a few times at the base and then twisting it the rest of the way. Um, I did this look or I did this um, a type of braid style, whatever you want to call it, um, towards the back of my head because I knew I was going to wear this style up in a bun so I didn't really care too much how the base looked but it didn't get as tight as I wanted it to it's um it was just okay if you kind of see like it it gets tight at the braid and then it loosens up but this one here is the method I like the best which is twisting the hair and then wrapping the second piece of hair around twice I believe I did to cover up the rubber band and then twisting along the way and don't forget to grab some of the hair and See right there grab that piece and then put it inside of these um, the synthetic hair so that it covers and it's protected and then I added a little bit of gel and then just kept on twisting so I was really struggling with concealing the rubber bands with this method but I didn't really care too much because as long as my style my hair is protected it didn't really bother me so I don't know if anybody else was having issues but anyways um, after all that said and done you just want to clip the ends of the braid that has all the straggly ends and then keep it moving so here I am doing it in a faster motion for you and I will shut up now <laughs> channel or welcome back to my channel so today I have a new style for you and this is my first time doing this style um, I did big jumbo twists using the rubber band method so it took me about an hour and a half to do this style um, I needed something very like I always need something very quick and easy because that's the story of my life so the hair that I use for this style is right here it is by Janet collection and it is the kinky crush 36 inch um, bulk hair in color 1b and you can do Senegalese twists with this you can crochet it in um, you can make your own like puff maybe like as well like for your hair you can do a lot when it comes to like bulk kinky hair so keep that in mind too if you like maybe want to try mini twists you can definitely achieve it with this hair the hair was great to me it was soft um I loved how it came in pieces so that made it super 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 quick and that will be the difference between like your timing you don't have to sit there and measure out each um each time you pull like you would normally maybe like with other bulk hair this is already divided up for you and that's even better for beginners as well or anyone who just is wanting a quick style and you know that every um every braid is gonna have the exact amount of hair so perfect and I was really trying to think of like something that would be cute because I've been working out and my hair has just been a mess and it's been so hot. It was 101 today, I believe. And so I'm like, I don't feel like wearing no wigs. I don't feel like trying to put no glue on my head because it's just gonna like, my lace gonna come off and I'm gonna be walking around looking stupid. And so <laughs> I just needed a style that was really great for working out and like great for this heat that we are having here in Houston. And this, I specifically made it this length and like this length because I knew I was just going to be wearing it up in a bun. I do not plan on wearing this hair like down um, because I don't really like how it looks down on me. I really just made this for protective styling to wear up in a bun so that I'm good for going out um, on date night if we choose to or working out if you're working out or just looking decent throughout the day. So with this being my first time doing the rubber band method, I honestly think that that method is great for beginners. Um, I can see why beginners would like that if you've never like twisted your hair before or anything like that. However, for me, <laughs> I don't know why, but it was like a bit of a struggle. That's probably because I'm used to just 
taking the hair and being able to twist it myself um and so i think i was also thinking a little bit too hard while doing this style i should have just went with the flow and yeah but whatever the rubber band method definitely does work we will see how long my parts stay neat as far as taking these out just to give you guys a heads up i'm gonna take the hair out as normal but i will cut out the rubber bands and that's what i recommend i do not recommend you just pulling out the, the rubber band because you're gonna pull out your hair and that just defeats the whole purpose this hair is also not tight um it looks very like clean and like it maybe it could be a little bit tight but it's not i'm like super super shocked and yeah if you guys don't know i don't like tight styles period and i thought maybe doing the rubber band method would make my hair be a little bit tighter than what i am used to but it didn't like it feels great to me it looks great <sighs> So this is also really, really, really perfect vacation hair too. Um, maybe a quick vacation somewhere or if you were gonna be somewhere for a while and you needed a great protective style, you can do this yourself, you can touch it up yourself and you don't need to like, you don't need to be super, super skilled. You can fake it till you make it and you're just twisting. You're not doing any intricate details or nothing like that. So, so yeah, so I am giving away two of these because Janet Collection said me more than enough and I still have a whole nother pack left for me to do another style with so I will be back later on with a whole nother style that I'll come up with but I wanted to give you guys a chance to um to try this style or try some twists or anything like that so the rules for this giveaway are super simple you must be following me on instagram you must be following janet collection as well on instagram and you must be subscribed to my channel we all know the three basic rules of giveaway and the last thing i need you guys to do so that i know you have entered is comment down below your favorite or your dream spot that you want to vacation to i will put of course all the rules down below in the description box so that you'll have them as well and all of my information as well for you so yeah that's it i will announce the winner in a week and yeah y'all stay cool y'all stay hydrated and i will talk to you guys in my next video bye